they need you. Why do they need you? Right? Why do they need you? Because you are an honest person. You're hardworking. You're dependable. You want the best for them. You know what I mean? There's not too many yeah. people out there like you. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. If you are not making your calls and you're not making them consistently, I want to know like why. Like I want to I want to know I want to know why you like what what's your reason? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like like you tell me why. I want to hear your reason of why you're not making calls consistently. So so you know your agents back home. What yeah. what are they telling you like why they're not making their calls consistently? They get discouraged very easily. They'll they'll make 20 calls and then they will just hit a hit a wall and be not into it or maybe get a really nasty person on the phone and be turned off to it completely for the rest of the day. I would say maybe find another career. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because if you're if you're gonna if, you, sales, if you're yeah. if you're here to like if you're here to to provide a better life for your family mm -hmm. and you're here to you know go big and stuff like everybody's talking about, but you make 20 calls and you quit. I don't, I don't, I don't know that there's anything you can tell that person. You know what I mean? Because I've seen this time and time and time again, and I'll ask people, okay, what are you so scared of? And they'll literally look at me right in my eyes and tell me, I don't know. Right. You know what I'm saying? The the biggest, the, the most frequent answer I get is, is I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I don't know why I don't, I won't make the calls. I don't understand. You know, and and they're like, I'm like, come on, you know, and they say, oh well, rejection. Hmm. Okay. Well, let me ask you something, Mr. Agent. Do you have kids at home? Do you have a wife? Do you have parents? Do you have dogs? You know what I'm saying? Like you're not even you don't even care about your dogs. Any responsibility, yeah. You know, for for me, that's the most selfish thing you can do is just quit. Right. Because you're not only quitting on yourself, you're quitting on your family, you're quitting on, you know, your 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 kids, your parents, your dogs, your coworkers, your broker, your everybody. Right. Everybody wants to see you succeed. And you're sitting here not making calls <laughs> like it, it, I, I don't I, I can't relate with yeah. that so it's hard for me to even fathom you yeah. know what I mean yeah I think you're right you know there's really no excuse when it comes to that because it's more of a persistence thing you know you're gonna have bad days you're gonna not want to work some days and that's just a mindset thing overall I think it has, it has nothing to do with cold calling it has to do with your mindset the thing what is man is that you just you just got to do it and have fun with it yeah and so you know when you're making your calls and you know people are you know you know one call goes great the next call doesn't go so great and then you have a weird call and then you get off you feel weird and then you have another call and it goes great you know you know how many deals i've done where i went through a call session and you know the 30th call was horrible and i was i was like you know i don't want to do this anymore you know whatever and then and i was like no nah, i'll just make a couple more and then like two or three more calls into it i get a listing or something or i get like somebody that really wants to you know, me to follow up with some stuff or like I get a possible deal. Yeah. You know, you're always like one or two or three calls away. You never know. From something great happening. You know, here's yeah. the thing, man. When you make your calls, there is a, ch I don't care if you suck at making calls, there is a chance that you're, that something's going to happen. Yeah. I've seen it, dude. I've seen people who are horrible at calls that, that do great because they will just make the calls. Like people that are horrible on the phone do business because they just make the calls and they just there's a percentage of people that like you know the fact that everybody has a soulmate you know like everybody has somebody right you know it's the same thing with this it's like there's a percentage of people that are going to like you there's a percentage that are going to not like you there's a percentage that's going to hate you there's a percentage that has another agent there you know sense, but yeah. that little slither of people who love you that's who you build your business around bro i made a hundred thousand calls in 15 years I talked to 10,000 people and 5,000 of them I had a great conversation with. That's that's the general numbers when I broke it all down, right? Good numbers, yeah. I talked to 10,000, 5,000 I had a great conversation with. I picked up 5,000 emails through that 100,000 call run with no dialer, dialing with my finger. Mm. And people are complaining yeah. in today's world when you... It took me all night to look up a hundred numbers and now you can just click a mouse and get thousands of numbers and then click another button and, and dial a hundred in an hour and a half. Right. That whole process used to take me 15 hours. Yeah. And now you can do what took me 15 hours in an hour and a half. Yes. Yeah, so you can't complain. And people are complaining about this, right? 
They're complaining about it when they could do everything that took me 15 hours, an hour and a half, and then have your whole day ahead of you. Hmm. It, that used to be my whole day. Yeah. And now you can do what I did in a day and then have your whole day ahead of you to do all kinds of other stuff. People just want reasons to complain, sounds like. Yeah. I mean, I, like I say, I can't really relate too much yeah. to people who aren't willing to get out there. See, these people that you're calling, they need your help. Like they want your help. Right. They're dying for your help. There's people that need you to call them and help them through the process. Selling real estate, selling a piece of real estate is not easy. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? Like for, for somebody who's not a real estate agent that sells their own property, that is not an easy process. No. That's why they hire a real estate agent, you know? And so there's people out there that need help through the process. They're thinking about buying. They're thinking about selling. They need you. Why do they need you? Right? Why do they need you? Because you are an honest person. You're hardworking. You're dependable. You want the best for them. You know what I mean? There's not too many yeah. people out there like you. You know, for all the people listening, like whoever's listening, you, you know, you know how good of a person you are. You know that you care about people and want the best for people, you know, and you know that you're going to take care of people. You're not going to do people wrong. You're not going to do anything shady. You're not going to do any gray area stuff. Everything's going to be by the book and you're going to make sure that it goes smooth for them. And they need that. And you're taking that away from them by not reaching out to them to see if they need your help. You're literally letting them down. You're letting yourself down. You're letting your family down. You're letting everybody down yeah. <laughs> by not doing your job to reach out to these people to see what you can do to help them. Definitely. And what you need to do is just have fun with it. Hmm. Call, laugh, have fun, be in a joking mood. Yeah. You know what I mean? When people are mad, laugh it off. Say, oh, you know, it, it, you know, watch my videos of me making calls. Like I'm... I'm laughing at the people that are <laughs> that are getting mean to me. Yeah. I'm laughing at the people that are, you know Don't what I mean? Yeah. I'm I'm yeah. laughing either way it goes.